Alright, chat. Uh breaking. Breaking. We just got the uh We got the full version. We got the full version here, chat. The full version of the track is here. Hold on. Oh, shit. This is... By the way, it's clearly not AI, right? It's real. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nah, the real version going crazy. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I just got a text. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even know who it's from. Actually, I do know. <laughs> Let's say, yo, yo, here's a real version. Stop playing that fucking reference track. Let's get the real shit popping. Let's go. I'm at Holy shit. Pull up. God damn. I, I love the beat drop out. I love all this shit. Holy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a shot that will be heard around the fucking world. I ain't gonna lie, by the way, mixing and mastering do a lot. Because <laughs> the other track did sound slightly flat, but that's the exact reason why you go through mixing and mastering. You feel what I'm saying? Holy. This shit got some bop to it now. Now, this shit got some energy to it now. Holy shit. Yo, tag a friend, a tag a friend. It's here. It's time. Kendrick, you are on the clock. You're on the clock. It just started now. It's real. The boy came back. You're on the clock, nigga. Yo, wait, wait, wait. The Woo Kid Sam? Wait, hold on. Woo Kid. Obviously, that's, that, that's Woo Kid's drop. But why Woo Kid? Is, is, is it... Is he responsible for the beat? Hold up. Let's get into it, though. Here we go. Bitch, you had to run from it. Cash blowing, able bread. Nah! Yo! I don't care what y'all niggas say. A plus for no sneak dissing. Calling niggas out by name. Chin checking them. Calling niggas out. That Jay-Z shit where you rapping hieroglyphics, I'm dissing but not saying your name. It's over! Metro, you a hoe! You, you a bitch! You used to be a blood roller! I like it! One more time! Switches, I'll be rocking every... Whoa. The, uh, well, I don't know if the the first version had that, but like you, you see that change of the line in here. It says, "Lucky your baby mama, lucky your dog, little baby mama didn't ki kiss and tell." The, the the bar changes slightly. Here we go. Hard to kiss and tell, cousin there rolling loud stage. I would turn. That was slick. probably change if you BM start to kiss and tell. Oh, that's a change of the line. Wow. Okay. Who's baby mama? Cousin kiss. Hey, is, is that a chorus or more like a bridge type of like hook? It's like a refrain almost. Huh? What are y'all typing? Let me see what the fuck y'all saying. I thought that was a chorus at first. I don't think that's a chorus. Y'all gotta start putting this shit on dark mode because I cannot read the chat. Oh my bad, alright, here we go. Like you trying to fuck boy. Wait, I'm on the song? What are you talking about? Kissing that beat, but Ooh! Hey! That's another uh, I can't even talk! I can't even talk this shit so far! Oh, that's another line switch. It says stay up on my business. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Yo, chat, I feel like I'm having a wet dream on this bitch, bro. No lag. Man, I ain't gonna lie, I love rap so much, man. Holy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What I'm living. I might take it less. I seen enough. Yo, the beat is 20 times harder with all the dropouts and like, 
yo, like, I, I like how there was almost like a build up right there. It's like building up into like some climat climactic shit. Piece it up. What you smoking on Kendrick? Wait, wait, no fucking way am I I'm on the song. Am I on the song? Nah, I'm not on the song. I swear I'm on the song. Maybe that was my soundboard. Drop and give me 50 on you fuck niggas teaming up. What pop song you smoking on Kendrick? I was right. I was right. Yo, I said all this shit blindly because I know my favorite artist. That nigga Kendrick. I've heard that nigga smoking on your top five. <laughs> I think it was on crack when he said that shit. Mm. One more time. I ain't gonna cut it off. One more time. Holy. What top five you smoking on Kendrick? Kendrick, he's begging you to drop. The pussy shenanigans is over. The bait and switch. The bluffer Olympics is done. Drop your fucking four-year-old song that you could get demolished. Thank God the nigga. Yo, is this what Drake had to do to make y'all favorite rapper rap? He had to diss 20 niggas and then harmonize at the end of the track. Drop. Just drop. Drop. I'm ready. He's squaring up. It's squabble time. He's begging Kendrick to drop. The double dutcher. The backpedaler. I thought you wanted smoke. Let's go. Drop. You heard what he said? He's singing it to you. He's rapping it to you. Drop a 50 badge. Kendrick, you're on the clock, gang. Holy shit. Hey, hey, real talk. This is another reason why this track is so spectacular to me. Y'all gonna say it's glazing, but I'm only speaking facts. This is the energy that I think me and you, and I'm talking to the people who listen to rap and who, you know, we ain't some crasher outers who want to see niggas die over rap beef, but we like competition. When Pusha drop story added on i believe most of us believe that if drake was gonna come back that slick talking energy wasn't gonna be it that dude went below the belt no diddy you gotta come out and you have to start talking that shit and a lot of people surmise the reason why we never got that that drake track dissing pusha t is that drake was this pop star that was beloved by all that he couldn't get gritty he couldn't get dirty, no diddy, and he couldn't really start talking directly and be disrespectful to meet Pusher on the level he needed to to actually win that battle. It's clear if that was the thought, that was incorrect. Because this is a level I didn't even think. I thought maybe round three, maybe round four. I didn't see kicking it off with this type of energy, direct disrespect basically telling the nigga he ain't shit and doing it in such a way to say nigga on any level i'll fuck you up nigga i'll be in your, i'll be in your city with all my chains on because you ain't snatching shit that's the energy he's giving said nigga the next time i'm in your city nigga i'm gonna wear every fucking chain i own and I, yeah, I'll be with a couple bodyguards like whitney you know the, the movie whitney houston did bodyguards but of course kendrick's Wife name is Whitney. So he's 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 letting niggas know we can get as personal as you want. I talk about your wife, nigga. And all that chain snatching shit. If you was and you see for everybody who was and this is why I gotta I gotta check some of y'all on it. When all y'all was like, why Drake don't want to respond? Well, this is what a Drake responds to a nigga who been jabbing him looks like. Yeah, of course it's personal. So you see why he's been sitting back to say, is this real? Yo, is the nigga hopping out? The Is he jumping out or did he just kind of rapping? Because he asked him down control. The nigga said he was just rapping. Then he came back around on on, on, on the cypher talking about he tucked a sensitive rapper back in his pajama clothes. Right? 
So wait, are you are you really going there or are you just rapping? Because when he's responding to your raps, he's talking that shit. Nigga, you a bitch. You can't do nothing with me. I get more love than you in your city. Matter of fact, you ain't snatching not a motherfucking chain. You ain't stepping on shit with your size seven women's sneakers. And motherfucker, I'll be in your in your city and I'm gonna have every chain I own. Show me you snatching chains. That's the nigga who has taken it personal. And he mentions your wife. He's taking it personal. He's taking it personal. The gloves is off. The gloves is off. The gloves is off. So for everybody who was like, oh, no, we don't think Drake could. No. Drake wanted to get down. In the, you want to get in the mud. No, did he? Let's squabble. What's up? But we not going to do the J. Cole respectful disses. No, nigga. Fuck you. Everybody around you. Fuck everybody. Somebody said what? We have to have to look at? <clears throat> Here we go. Somebody in there said go look at Ken Barbie. Ain't that Cardi B's on me? He says, did Drake just confirm he's dating Lotto's sister, Brooklyn Nicole, while getting a John Morant? He says, shout out to that hooper that be busting out the gritty. I know why you mad, nigga, I ain't tripping. Drake recently sparked dating rumors with Brooke, who happens to be a Ja, who, oh, John Morant used to date her? Drake and Ja also reportedly date Joan, jo Jonna, Leia, so it's possible that could be the reference as well. Remember Drake had rented out the Brooklyn the Brooklyn Dodgers Stadium for that John a girl? I think this is her. Yeah, Drake had rented out a stadium for her. I didn't know that I didn't know that John Morant used to used to date um used to date Brooklyn. Oh, and recently when Metro says, once you pick a side, stay there, John Morant says. Stay on that side. That was kind of odd. Because I thought the only side that John Morant picked was 4K Trey. This ain't young boy beef. The fuck is you doing over here? The fuck? I was I was confused by that. I thought John Morant only jacked one person. And that's uh, uh, I'm young boy. What the hell are you doing over here in the Metro Drake beef? So that makes sense now. Now, here's what we're realizing, chat. Here's what we're realizing. We're realizing... That maybe the rumors were true. You know, the, the biggest question that's coming out of all this is, damn, what the fuck did Drake do to all these niggas that they're all mad at him? I think Drake, this song, is answering some of those questions for us. What did Drake do? Look like Drake done fucked all these niggas' hoes. John Morant, his chick got clipped. He mad on the gram. Metro Boomin, the 15 chicks he pillow talking to, they got clipped. Who else? Who else? Who else? Let me pull up the lyrics once again. Um, Rick Ross, it seems like there's a female there too, right? Look, look at the lines at Rick Ross. I might take your latest girl and cuff her like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50. Every song that he made uh, made on the chart he got from Drizzy. Spend that little check you got and stay up on my business. Okay. So, you know, I don't know what that, that line has to do. He said, I might take your latest girl and cuff her like I'm Ricky. I, I don't necessarily know what, what that means, but it seemed like that's talking about a girl. How old is Rick Ross, though? How old is Rick Ross? Oh, he's turning 50. Well, 50 is a new 20 when you got a private jet. I ain't going to hold you. So I don't care. If I'm 70 with a private jet, nigga, I'm running around like I'm 23. I ain't going to hold you. So I ain't mad at Rick Ross. That nigga Rick Ross look like he's having it. <laughs> it's crazy how this is how rich Drake is. Cause I've been watching, I've been pocket watching this nigga Rick Ross, and he got mad bright. I don't know how he got like nigga. I've been trying to go back and count his record sales. I'm like, how the, like this nigga must be embezzling. Like this nigga must, this nigga must really got. You know what I mean? He must have really moved weight uh, across the Atlantic. You know what I mean? Because how the fuck he got thirty five million dollar mansion in, in Miami? Got the promised land. Got a private jet. Got fifty cars. How the fuck? When you stop ain't paying that good, is it? Anyway, 
This is how rich Drake is. He shits on him like that nigga's broke. I might take your latest girl and cuff her like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he's jumping in that nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on the chart he got from Drizzy, spend that little check. Damn, that little check you got and stay up on my business. Worry about whatever you got going on with you and I think he means Diddy, right? Uh, shout out to the hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you tripping. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. Oh, shit. You know, you know, you know why this is ironic? Drake's lines and even like Fall the Dogs and CLB and, and albums like that has given more captions to to heartbroken Twitter Twitter bitches or Twitter people. Like Drake, Drake is kind of known for that, but he's shitting on that. But well, actually not shitting on it. He's just shitting on it for men. He's just like, yo, bro, that heartbroken Twitter shit, that's for bitches. Okay. So I ain't even rapping after this. I'm way too busy. I think that's also a cap. I think he's definitely ready to take uh, Kendrick's head off if he comes back. Damn. Hold on. Let's look at 